Hi guys, this is the video where I uh, show you why my computer, or how I made my computer so fast compared to the previous version and all the technology that it uses. Yeah, in the Red Game 2, I like rebuilt the whole thing. Literally, I did. Except I kept some designs there. Data flip-flop for registers. The num screen, the GPU, I kept. Um, the LU design. Just a bit of it, just like a little bit. I'll show you just now. So, well, one of the main things, reasons this computer is so fast, is because one command does three things at once. So this is the go-to. This is dual go-to, which is really advanced. Good mode or function to change or perform. RAM or register read, RAM or register write. This chooses between RAM and registers, along with this one. So this is the whole command. It's quite massive. And yeah, this is all the commented code for how it works. Don't worry if you can't read it. You can both pause YouTube videos and you can, well, see it later. Also, in the Red Game 2.1, I added these debugging features. Go to for debugging. This, uh, this is the debug mode thing. This will, here, this lights up when it's in debug mode. RAM debug mode debugs. This is um, what makes it so fast, really, because while the computer piece is busy, all these little pieces every part of the computer is busy at the same time or possibly this is what manages it first RAM gets saved from the previous command when the clock signal comes in next um, next command is saved goes to the next command it waits a bit and the function gets performed so first RAM things then go to then function That is one of the many secrets. The other is that everything's managed on floors, and this thing's got managers, layers of managers. There's about two RAM managers, not three. So all the RAM data goes into here. These are the RAM buses. They go across here into this thing. And this, thing. this is RAM save, RAM load or LU, no, I mean registers. So this is what decides whether it's a register or an LU fun <laughs> RAM function. Why am I getting this confused? So that way, or that way. Currently it's a register function. So it goes this way. This thing goes down into here, into the register controller, which is the second stage. This then goes on to here, into this bus, and then activates it. The data on the bus goes onto these wires down here. Here you see it. And it flies all the way along this way into the RAM. Now, when the function eventually, it gives it some time to come through and process through all that stuff and to get here and all the way along here. It gives it quite a bit of time. When it's done, it saves. It's quite a laggy operation. If not, everything's laggy. Then usually it would load it onto this bus. You might wonder why they're all on. It's because it inverted. It gives, saves me one tick. Actually, it saves me two ticks. Yeah. And then it would go, say, it would save to the LU. Then this thing here would be on. Which is the save. Well, temporarily be on. And bam, it would be saved onto this. And then go into the LU. Here's another secret in the LU. Everything's stacked, which is a layout system. Really? I do not know why there's a pig near the ALU. Okay. So the numbers go into these towers, go into all the sums, and before the sum's even done, well, the sum's even, all the sums are done before you even ask for the sum. They do every single possible sum gets done all on these floors. 
Implas and or XOR, you name it. Then, when you ask for it, these black buses enable that line, and some gets put onto these orange buses after it goes through this, which is an XOR, my own design. And here, there's the random, well, one of the random number generators. And it goes into here, which is another register. So when the computer can eventually load this onto here. This is, um, this is for GoTo. Everything's like really compact, put all next to each other. Okay, so yeah, that's how the LU works so fast. And this is the random number generator. It's very simple actually. It uses clocks. So when the random number generator is turned on, it's just, it's currently set to 4 bits. Generates random numbers. And when it requests them, it like saves to the RAM and then it's a stable number. I just turned it off because it's a lot of lag. There's the program, the new, what's it called? Pixel Invaders. It's not working yet. ROM. Yeah, that's about everything with RAM, I guess. Also, RAM has another stage controller. They have this thing. Another RAM controller. And then we have this, the RAM decoder B. RAM decoder A is underneath. This thing. There are massive things to access all these RAM cells. Okay, so, to show you how fast this computer is, it's 4 seconds clock, but yeah, it executes commands within those commands. All separately. So, f wait. Let's go here. I quickly set this thing up for debugging as well. It turns on the clock after a delay. So you can quickly fly up to see what's going on. So push this. And we quickly fly up. And here it is. Let's see what it's doing right now. It's reading from RAM 1, saving to A. Wait, it's reading switch 1 and waiting for it to be on. Fail. That's the clock right there. Constant little pulsing signal. Those doors are just to access the areas quickly. Oh, it's running on that program. Ah, next one. Okay, what's it doing? What's it doing? What's it doing? Um, subtracting, loading RAM 3, saving to screen, updating screen, shutting down. Sends a shutdown request. System replies with a reset. And there we are, we're back to command 1, with the clock being off. Now it's probably a tad fast for you to understand what's happening, so I'm gonna use a debugging feature. The manual tick button. Okay, so first what happens is it reads UI, you use your input, saves it to RAM 1. Next, it reads RAM 1, saves to A, turns on the indicator lamp saying ready for the next one and uses go to to wait for switch 1 to be on if the switch is off it goes to this command meaning nothing happens it just keeps waiting turning on the indicator constantly next because the switch is on I left it on it reads UI saves to RAM 3 to RAM 2 I mean turns off the indicator. So now, that's the second number, saving to RAM. A and B, by the way, is the registers for the LU. Next. 
to do next. It loads from RAM 2, saves to register B, and it performs conditional branching. Read switch 2 to go to either add or subtract. Now I think I left it on subtract, so it should go to subtract. Push the button, and it shows subtract. Otherwise it would go to add here. Don't ask why it's here, just put it there. Um, subtract saves to RAM 3. So now subtracting and saving to RAM 3 when it's done. The LU is fast enough to be able to do that in one command in a few ticks because of that method I described earlier. I put a little torch here because they all go there. Say when add's done, it goes to torch. Where's add? Go to torch. So they all meet back here. Load RAM 3. Save the screen. So that's the answer where they save this answer to. Saves to the screen register. Finally, it updates the screen. Now it goes to zero. What this does is it shuts down the computer. It's pretty interesting how it does that. I think I'll show you that from the control panel, main control panel, just because I can. This one right here. It says what resets and manages the computer. At least the first stage, the second stage is up there. The clock. This is what resets it. This little circle thing. This is uh, the shuts the reset request goes into here. Gets inverted here. Goes here. Gets inverted here. Goes here and goes there. Turning on the indicator, and it takes input from there. So that's the reset request button inside. I'm gonna reset it from here. If I I could also push manual tick which is like a clock signal except manual which one of these is the manual clock tick sig thing this one well there's a repeater there so I can't do that well remember in the previous computer you had to push a button and such to reset it now it just automatically does that that's what manages it yeah I'll just push the manual tick button hope it works computer should send a reset request. There it is. And there we are. Then it should stop sending the reset request. And voila! Computer's reset. All happens in here. This is what controls the sign above me. This one. Okay, so that's the explanation. Most of it. If you want anything else explana explained, you just uh, comment just say it in the comments or give me a message whatever I'll be glad to explain we're glad to be ins inspire people to build redstone devices as complex as this so I hope I helped people there I hope I got rid of a few haters as well with the new red game and uh, yeah if you liked it you click like if you want to see more videos like this about my stuff um, check out my channel. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.